Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is part of a group of other galaxies and this group is known as the local group and this group has about 30 galaxies and these galaxies are bound together by gravity and all the smaller galaxies are orbiting the big ones. So for example if we take these two smaller galaxies they're orbiting our galaxy the Milky Way. Similar to our solar system how the planets are orbiting the Sun. And of course not all 30 galaxies are shown in this picture. And the size of this local group from one end to the other is about 10 million light years. And the three largest galaxies in this group are our galaxy, the Milky Way, Andromeda Galaxy, and the Pinwheel or M33 Galaxy. And this galaxy is actually orbiting around Andromeda. So in terms of size, the Milky Way has about 250 billion stars, and Andromeda has around 1 trillion stars. And this M33 galaxy has about 50 billion stars. And we know in about 5 billion years, the Milky Way and Andromeda will collide. And the result of the collision will be another galaxy. And this galaxy M33 will then collide into the resulting galaxy. And the closest galaxy to us is the Canis Major Dwarf Galaxy or CMD. And our sun is actually closer to CMD than it is to Milky Way's center. So if we look at our galaxy, our sun is around here. And this CMD galaxy is orbiting here. So our sun is actually closer to this galaxy than the center of our own galaxy. And because this galaxy is so close to our galaxy, our galaxy, the Milky Way, is actually tearing this galaxy apart. So as this galaxy orbits around our galaxy, it's leaving behind its stars, gas, and dust, which is displayed by this picture. So as this galaxy orbits around our galaxy, the Milky Way, it's leaving behind the stars as displayed by the red color here. So as this galaxy keeps orbiting, it will keep losing its mass and the stars and eventually it will become part of the Milky Way. And this isn't the first time our galaxy has done this. In the past, it has eaten up a lot of other smaller galaxies. Thank you for watching. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.